Welcome to Exploring the Arts. I'm your host, Ed Cawley. Today we're going to be going to the Winthrop School and we're going to find out how art really began. If you really examine art, you'll discover that children begin at a very early age. What I want to do is kind of explore this early age of art. Almost all children enjoy and like drawing. There are several different stages to this. It's called, believe it or not, the scribbling stages. And this goes from the ages of like uh, two to four years old. Let me show you what I mean. One of the very first stages of scribbling is just random scribbling like such, generally with a big black crayon maybe on white paper. This has nothing to do with creative thinking or anything. It's just the child's ability to see that amazing thing happen when you see out of the crayon this shape take place on paper. This is purely a motor skill. Pretty soon, a child will move from this sort of random scribbling into vertical scribbling or horizontal scribbling. And then from that, they'll move into this other type of a scribbling, which is kind of a circular scribbling. And for some reason, this happens a lot of children. This is still just a motor skill. It isn't meant to be an imaginary thing at all. And then they'll move into this sort of repetitive shape type of thing. And this is like the four stages of scribbling. This is how art actually begins. We're going to move from this early scribbling stage into the next stage, which is sort of the pre-schematic stage. This is when children will do something like a scribble like this, and they'll name the scribbling. This is mom and me going to the store, or I'm on a train, or look at the grass grow, or whatever. When they move into school, they start drawing things like this, which I think is interesting. Let's imagine this is the paper which the child is going to draw on. And this is when the imagination comes into play. For instance, if you're a child, you'd say, where's the sky? And the child will point, well, the sky's up there. So they simply take and draw the sky up here. And where is the ground? <laughs> Down here. They'll simply draw the horizon line, the ground here. Now, another thing which I think is kind of interesting, and this was brought out by a professor at uh, Penn State called Victor Lowenfeld, who did a study and research on child art. One of the first things a child does is draw himself. And if you notice, oftentimes the child is literally hovering above the horizon. They can't really plant their feet yet on the ground. Where's the sun? The sun pops up anywhere un under the sky. They may even draw a house. Now this is, I think, is kind of interesting. On the house, with a window, of course, maybe a door, they will put in the next important person. The mother may be the next on the line of important people. And I think this is kind of interesting too for children. Notice the size difference. The world literally surrounds them. They draw themselves as the largest character in the illustration. Let's say we had on the ground here, we had some flowers that the child was interested in. In order to pick those flowers up, as adults, and as teachers, we would say, well, look, uh, Johnny, you have to bend over, reach down, and pick those flowers up. The child and his imagination have a tremendous advantage over us. They simply take an arm, wrap it down here, and wrap it around the flower, and the flower is picked. Now, that's a good example of the beginnings of art. And we're going to explore this beginning at the Winthrop School. So follow me, and let's go in and see what these second graders do with their odd experiences.
just exploding off your page. I want you to know this is a beautiful painting and I think you're a very good artist. You're welcome. Okay, can you tell me what your name is? My name is Charlie and I am drawing a city. Mm -hmm. Little houses and farms up here and see the city over there with some stars at night. Wow. So you really, uh, you, you sketch this out in pencil first, how come? Because I think if you sketch it out in pencil first, you can't really make any mistakes because you can just erase. Ah. But paint, you'll, you can make a huge mistake. You mentioned, did you mention you're the boy who said you like Monet or something like that? Yes, yeah. I am. I like it's how okay. he just put a bunch of circles for stars mm -hmm. and it just turned into a beautiful mixture of colors mm -hmm. and stars. Yeah. Is that a billboard there? Yes, a yeah. billboard with a little dog. You love detail, oh, don't you? Yes. You're getting little minute yes. kinds of stuff. Shelly, that's really nice. I can hardly wait to see it when it's done. Okay, first of all, what's your name? This one, and I'm drawing the play, which is about the clowns and Superman lifting the plane up. Is that Superman lifting the plane up? That is amazing. Where did Superman get all this power? Do you know? What makes Superman so strong? You know, are you strong? Is there anything you'd like to tell me about your painting? This thing goes in here. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're a wonderful painter. I love the color, and that's a great Superman. <laughs> Will you tell me about your painting? Yeah. This is a little book in kindergarten, and this is half of what I read in the book and half of what in my imagination. Oh. So um, what part is the book? The house right here. Mm -hmm. But the red thing on the roof is um, part of my imagination. What is this shape right here? Oh, that's a door. Oh, that's a door. Okay. Is there this anything is like else? like a brick. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me about your painting? This is on the sunset. This is like a day. This is like a day. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you for showing me your painting. A good story. Okay. What's your name? Anna. Mm -hmm. Anna, what is your painting about? It's about me and playing tag. Oh, where are you? Where's your friend? Oh. She must be very important to you. What's her name? She's really close because we've known each other since we were babies. Really? Well, you've known each other since you were babies. That was a long time ago, huh? Did she go to this school too? Oh, is she in this room too? No? Okay. I can also tell she's got long hair, does she? Is it brown hair too? Black. Black. Okay. But that's a beautiful sky. Colin, this is a beautiful painting. I love the colors. Thank you. Can you tell me what it's about? It's about the a dragon attacking at night. A dragon attacking at night. Wow. Is this the dragon here? Yeah. Boy, he's really big and powerful. Mm -hmm. And is that fire coming out of his mouth too? Right here. Wow. That knight doesn't stand a chance, does he? <laughs> if you saw a real dragon, what would you do? I would be Would you be nice to him, or would you be angry at him? I'd be nice Do you have a pet at home? Yes, I have six chickens in the dog and the dog. Wow! That, that is amazing. Six chickens? Yes. Can you speak chicken? 
<laughs> that is so good. First day you got your dog. When was that? Uh, yeah. Oh, so, uh, where's the dog gonna go? Okay. Is it a nice dog? Does it like all kinds of people? Yes, but she barks at people. She does bark at people. That's the way of the dog saying hello. Is that the way a dog says hello? And, and what's your name? Cooper. Cooper, what do you mean? Oh no. A battleship. Have you ever been on a battleship? Um, no, I'm going to go on one in July. Oh, where is it going to be? Um, it's next to the USS Costa. You know a lot about battleships and ships and stuff? Yeah. Wow. Is the captain of your ship is he a smart guy or not too smart? Um, I have no clue who he is. Oh, you don't? We're the guy who drove the Titanic. He's supposed to be one of the best captains. And what happened? Um, what did he call it? It was a mirage. It was? What, what's a mirage? You don't know what a mirage is? No. It's that thing that happens, that happens in the desert where you see it looks like water is on the ground. Oh. It's actually a mirage turns something upside down to the blue sky. It looks like water on the ground. And so the water was on the sky covering the iceberg. Who's painting here? I, is that you? Or is that somebody in the game? And how do you get by all these mushrooms? You don't buy them, they're obstacles. Oh, they're obstacles. Wow. Can you, do you think you can get by it eventually? Um, I never got past it. And I got too mad and like through it broke. Does he ever catch him? Yeah. What would happen if he had caught him? I don't think he would. He would he know what to do with him? So show me where you're going to put your deer in here. What is this up here? It's a sunset. Oh, that's a sunset. Uh, are you going to put like five reindeer on here? Are you going to have a dog chasing him? I don't know how many reindeer on I think we're going to have my dog on. Sneaking up on? No. <laughs> do you know my friend over here? You don't? No, this friend right here. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Lucy. Okay. Do you like your art, you like art classes? Is yeah. It fun? How often do you have your art class? Um, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Well, that's good. So what gave you that idea? Um, I was reading a book about crossing the prairie. And mm -hmm. So it gave me an idea of what I should do. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was really interesting. So. Yeah. I like I like I like the, the prairie the way you've got it painted with those little sp uh, spots on it. It gives it like texture. That looks really good. Thanks. What's your name? Joey. Joey? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing, Joey? Um, this is once when I was in survival in Minecraft. I just keep on going in worlds. In one world, I was just like. I just was in. I spawned in lava and I was dying for no reason. Wow. And so tell me what these orange shapes are. are um, they? they're um, parts of the lava. Do you like to paint? Yeah, but mm -hmm. I mostly would like to play Minecraft. You do? Yeah, so I can get all these memories of it. Yeah, and this is the memory of one that you saw, correct? Yeah, in survival. Jenny, what are you doing? I'm painting. 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 I'm painting
Like what are you going to have down here? Little houses. Oh, little so houses. That you can sort of like see the little houses like down there. Mm -hmm. You can look at the sun. Oh, that's the sun. So who's going to be on top of the mountain? You? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Have you ever been on top of the mountain before? Um, no. What are you going to be? Something. Yeah. No, What's your, what is your name? Matt. What is it? Matt. Matt. What are you doing, Matt? Colorful ducks. What? Colorful ducks. Oh, wow. Very nice. Blue bunny. What are you doing, Spencer? I'm doing the um, countryside, mm -hmm. and I'm doing mountains in the background, um, a river and a stream, mm -hmm. and I'm going to draw some trees up here and some so how'd you get the idea? I don't know. It's really like the country place. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a place that has mountains and the river like that? Not really. I mean, this is totally out of your imagination? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. You like using your imagination? Yeah. What's the best part about being an artist? It's just like, you can just be like free and do whatever you want. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. That, that looks a little like uh, monkey bars, is it? Ah. It isn't exactly monkey bars. Mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's not swings. Um, it's, there was a cat, kind of, it looked like monkey bars, but there's wood mm -hmm. and hanging from down from the monkey bars, and, and there's a seat at the bottom, and you swing across. Mm -hmm. What's your name, honey? Skylar, what are you painting? Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, I'm going to ask you, what is your name? Your name? How old are you? You're not married yet, are you? Okay, just a minute. What is his name again? Is this him right here? Wow. Could you describe your painting to me, what's going on here? Tell me the story. Mm -hmm. And tell me what happens over here. What's this all? They, they obviously are smiling about something. That's just walking. That's just walking? Okay. And what is this dark figure up here? What is that all about? Um, sticker. It's a what? A sticker. Oh, a very big sticker. A very big sticker. And of course, this over here. This is a picture. Okay. That's some hero you've got there. But I want you to know this is a beautiful painting. It was really nice to meet you. Look at the examples of some of the works that these students have done in the classes. Look at the vibrant colors, the expression, the total lack of intimidation when they set about to paint. This is what painting is all about. This is what communications is all about. This truly is one of the very first forms of communication. They paint an airplane, they paint a boat, they paint a playground. This is all a form of communication. Everybody can look at these paintings and tell exactly what the stories are. It's a universal language. People who speak Spanish and French and English, foreign languages even more unique than those, they can all understand the pictures without any given information. The beauty of art is this form of expression that these kids have. Watching them paint these paintings has been a thrill and a joy for me. I'd like to thank the principal, Sheila McAdams, and the art teacher, Camilla Lee, for allowing me to take time and enjoy the works of these wonderful children here at the Winthrop School. Until next time, I'm Ed Cauley, Exploring the Arts.